Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we are taking a 24 hour look on the Galaxy Note 8. So think of it as my mini review of the Galaxy Note 8, but my full review will come up next week. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to give you like at least a full day's worth of impressions on what I think of the device, how I'm using it, what I've tried, all that fun stuff. Excuse the noise, I'm recording in daytime because literally it's been 24 hours. Anyway, now, the Galaxy Note 8 is going to be here very soon, but the first thing you will notice once you pick up this device is that it feels a little heavier than previous devices. Yeah, it actually feels heavier than the Galaxy S8 Plus, which is quite interesting because they're almost the same size, uh, almost, as I, I will mention later, but it feels slightly heavier. That being said, though, you will get used to it. It's something that I've finally gotten used to, but I was like, wow, this is just kind of weird. Now, the the plus side to that is the design of the uh, of the Galaxy Note 8 really focuses on uh, you being able to hold with one hand at the same time, which is kind of uh, interesting in the sense that it just feels better to hold than the S8 Plus. The S8 Plus felt a little wider. This just feels right there in your hand, so that's pretty good. And I think also the rectangular shape and the cornered edges do help quite a bit. I think this is because you know Samsung knows that you're going to be popping out the S Pen and doing a lot of writing with that. Now, talking about the S Pen, uh, I think they've done something to this. They didn't mention any major improvements, but I felt writing on the S Pen was just much more fluid. And also, you know, you've got that ability to now add uh, more than up to 100, up to 100 pages on the uh, uh, lock screen with always on display. Great feature, not something I will constantly use, but I like that it's there. That's pretty cool. But what I used a lot was live messaging. And I have to tell you, man, it is fantastic. It is really good. The ability to send live messages is really cool, but you can add in background images. So now you can create memes and GIFs and as memes as a GIF and send that out, uh, out to people, which is great. So I was using it a lot. I used many, I used different images. It was fantastic. It was fun and something I think a lot of people will definitely like to use. To me, I think that's gonna be one of the run, uh, breakout features that a lot of people will go, oh, well, I didn't think it was gonna be fun, and then you use it, you're like, oh, this is absolutely great. The one thing I'll mention is that if you're sending background messages uh, with uh, background photos with live messages, uh, you're going to, you might get into size limitations on uh, images, because I found that I couldn't send those messages with a background photo, so that's just something to take note. Now, speaking of the camera, Samsung's made improvements both front and rear. The front-facing camera looks fantastic. I mean, my selfies look good. My selfie with little uh, Deadpool look good. It looked, everything just looked pretty sharp. Again, um, the 8 megapixel camera, I think, is just a nice improvement for what they had with 5. Now, in the back, you've got a dual camera setup. Um, one of them is a dual uh, dual pixel with 1.7 f-stop. The other one has f-stop of 2.4, but they both have OIS. And what that gives you some really great photos. You've got some really sharp, clear daylight photos. Now, the, tele, uh, the telephoto lens uh, thing works out pretty well, so people who like that feature, I think, will take advantage of it. But I, I, what I really liked with this camera, two things. First of all, low-light photography, Samsung, again, continues to improve. Again, from what I did yesterday, you can see the image they just look pretty sharp, especially looking at little, you know, Deadpool looks sharp with a low light setting. Even when it's completely dark and I'm trying to take a scene of the city, looks very good. Uh, now the camera, both front and rear, did a really good job. And I have the camera video with audio from the mic at the end of this video, so you can actually take a look at it and enjoy and get a full experience of that. Now the display, whew, man, that infinity display, is vibrant. You can see it yourself. I'm recording this in a low light setting. It just looks sharp. Now I've heard talk that it's about 1200 nits and if that's true, again, I'm not sure I have to confirm, but if it's 1200 nits, that is brighter than a lot of TVs out there. Literally brighter than a lot of TVs. It is vibrant. It is sharp and you can see with the wallpaper I have on there, it just pops out really well. Now I know some of you are going to be asking, where can I get that wallpaper? Well, just follow me on my Pinterest page. You will find all my wallpapers, including this one. Again, it's not really my wallpapers. It's wallpapers I use. I'm sharing them. So feel free. Follow me there. I will keep adding wallpapers. I do on a regular basis. So that's something just to take note. Now, 
going back to the display, it really, really looks good. And I have to say though, again, Samsung has done something pretty vibrant there with that. Now, some of you will probably ask, what about battery life? I can't give you a full battery life estimate in 24 hours, it's just not possible. So stay tuned for our full review. I will say that I was able to use it for most of the day, especially trying to crunch this device, updating it, adding, of course, all my different contacts and things like that in there, as well as apps that I use, and also just doing a lot of work at once. It's got a 6.3 inch QHD plus um, AMOLED display, which looks vibrant. You've got eight megapixel in front, dual 12 megapixel OIS cameras at the back. You've got a fingerprint sensor with the location. It's still not the best. It's more effective, but I would suggest using the iris scanner. Um, you've got fast charging uh, wirelessly. You've got fast charging via USB type C. Uh, you've got a mono speaker at the bottom um, and a 3300 milliamp battery with uh, uh, RAM of six gigabytes, as well as um, storage of 64 gigabytes and micro SD expansion. So you've got all that in this device. Really, I have to say that at this point, I really like this device. I mean, I, I liked it before, but I think I've just, I hit like another level of like, man, the Note 8 is back. It's it's solid. I I just have this feeling that this is a device that I'll, I'm gonna use a lot. I'm just saying that's me, but we'll see when I spend a full week on my whole review. So if there's anything you wanna see, please leave that uh, leave them down in a question and I'll try and ask them for you in that review. Otherwise guys, um, don't forget to like and share this video. And if you're looking to pick up your own Galaxy Note 8, we have our Amazon store. You can go ahead and click on that. We have it there for you. You can pick it up as well as other items supporting us. Uh, and Thunder E saying, thank you very much. Definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying, thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment. walk and talk here on the roof using the Galaxy Note 8 for our 24 hour review. So at least you guys get a good idea of how the front facing camera works and me walking around with it uh, records at uh, 1440 um, and uh, as you can see I'm just going to kind of pan around the sun's in that area so it get a little darker and here you are much better but it's windy uh, the mic should pick this up walking towards um, chair over here, you can hear the noise, pan back towards the city.